In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to remove that worn out needle bearing in your Toyota's front differential and replace it with East Coast Gear Supplies solid bushing using their extraction tool. This is a common problem with Toyota four-wheel drive, forerunners, FJ Cruisers, and Tacomas. We developed a shake or a shimmy in the front end of our forerunner a little while ago, like a month or two ago. It usually happened when the drive train was still a little cold, you know, when we first start out in the morning, but it would go away if I put it in four high. Our first thing we did was we got our tires balanced, but that didn't fix it at all. Then I crawled underneath, looked around to see if anything was loose or wore out, and I found this. Our CV axle was crazy loose on the driver's side, so right away I knew the needle bearing in the diff was bad. So we have to replace it. Now the best thing to do is get rid of that needle bearing altogether and replace it with this steel sleeve from, I believe it's East Coast Gear Supply. I'll put a link to it in the video description below, but this will eliminate that problem. Now, you're probably looking at this and thinking, holy crap, I have to tear it apart that far? Absolutely not. We have ours torn apart like this because we're doing a lot of other stuff to it at this time. A lot of repairs and uh, modifications to our front suspension. You don't have to tear it down this far. All you really need to do is first disconnect the tie rod end from the spindle and the sway bar link from the spindle, the axle nut off of the end of the axle, these two bolts that hold the lower ball joint onto the spindle, and then just grab the spindle with the you don't have to take the rotor or caliper off either. Just grab that, pull it outwards to release that axle from inside the bearing, and then just move it over here to the side, hold it over here with a bungee or uh, uh, some wire or whatever you have handy or another person, and just leave it over here. Now my advice, if you've never actually done anything like I just explained to you, you may wanna have somebody with you that has had experience doing that. It's not a real difficult job, but it is a bit involved and you don't wanna screw anything up. Next, you'll need to pull the axle out. But before you do that, make certain that this fill plug in the differential is loose. You're gonna need to put some fluid back in it because some's gonna drain out. And the only way to get it in is through this plug. There are a few methods of getting that axle out of the differential. I prefer to use a simple slide hammer with a hook on the end. And that just hooks onto a little landing that's machined into that, uh, I call it the acorn part of the axle. Just give it a couple wax and it usually comes right out. And that right there is the needle bearing we need to take out. Now it's always a good idea to put a new seal in these every time you have the axle out. Uh, you can see this one here is pretty crusty, so we are definitely going to be replacing it. First we have to get it out of there. Now when we put our tool in here, we don't want it to go past the end of this needle bearing. If it does, there's a good chance it'll fall down behind the spider gear in here. And then if that would happen, then we're pretty much screwed. We would have to take the diff apart to get that tool out of there. So I'm going to take a little bit of a rag here and just stuff it in here. Just so it's past the end of that bearing so we can get the tool behind it. Right there and then we'll take some needle nose and pull that out when we're done. Now I'm not sh exactly sure what the preferred uh, orientation of this to go in, whether it goes in like this or like this. I've seen it done both ways. We're gonna put it in this way with the help of my magnet on a stick. And put one end down behind. This is a really tight, you know, really tight fit in there. If 
fact, I may have to tap it a little bit to get it in it. That, nope, there it goes. It's in. It's in. Get the magnet off of it. And then I want to rotate it and orient it so it's horizontal in there. Like that. Then we can take our threaded rod and very carefully start threading that. Well, first I have to take this I have to take this nut off. Then start threading that on. Okay. And turn that so it's still horizontal. Then this goes on. And then this nut. And I forgot to get a wrench that fits this nut. I'll be right back. Now about the only tricky part of this is making certain that your tool back in here, oops, there goes the flashlight, <laughs> the tool back here is not sitting down here on the bottom, but it's, it has to be nice and even behind there. Otherwise it won't pull on the bearing, it'll be pulling on the uh, case of the differential instead. And you don't want that. And that looks good. We'll give it a couple turns. And it should come out pretty darn easy. If it doesn't, back it back off and reposition your tool. Because it might not be right where it's supposed to be. I know my hand is right in the way, sorry. Give it another try. Yeah, I think it's coming out. It feels like it. Yep, it's moving. It's coming out. Yeah, it should come out fairly easy. If it gives you any kind of struggle at all, uh, your tool is not positioned properly. Can you see it starting to come out? That's, that's the needle bearing right here. But you can see it's, it's almost out now. It's not giving me much resistance at all. Pretty soon I'm, yep, yep. Just like that, came right out. So here's the tool still with that bearing. And you can see just how small this part of the tool is. It just hits the, just barely hits the outside of that bearing. That's why it has to be lined up just so in there. And there is our worn out old needle bearing. Here's our old needle bearing on there. And there's, there's a lot of slop there. There's our new bushing. And that fits nice. It doesn't jiggle hardly at all. Now before I forget it, I'm pulling this rag out of here. There. On our new bushing, you're gonna see that one edge has like two surfaces to it, and the other end is total steel. You're gonna wanna put this in last. So what this is, is I believe it's bronze with a coating inside 
and a steel sleeve around it. So at this one end, you'll see that it's all steel. And this is what you need to pound on to get it in there. Don't hammer on the, pe on the side that has the two layers right here. Now I did go ahead and spring for their installation tool. And that makes it a little easier, I think. I think it'll help to get it aligned because uh, it has to go in fairly straight when you pound it in. Remember, the edge that's all steel, that goes on like this and goes in like that. Then we place it in here. See, it's on the tool there. Put it up there nice and even. Now you could, to make this go in a little bit easier, you could put this uh, bushing in the freezer for a day or two, and that'll make it just a tiny bit smaller in diameter. But it's going, just make sure that it goes in straight. Looks like it is. Now we don't want the inside lip, the end of the new bushing, and the inside here, we don't want that to go past. You'll feel that there's a sharp edge right there. We don't want it to go past the end of the bushing to go past that sharp edge. It's getting there, about another quarter inch or so. little more. It looks like the bushing will come out flush with this surface right here. And if that's the case, then this tool will actually bottom out right here on this edge on that piece of the uh, differential. Close. And that's it. It's in there. That all went surprisingly well. Uh, the, pulling it out was uh, no problem at all. I was a little worried about getting that, that piece of the tool in there and behind the needle bearing but it went right in. Like I said earlier, um, some people may have to tap that a little bit to get it in there because it is pretty, a pretty tight fit, but it came out really easy. The new one went in perfectly, and now we just have to put it all back together. Now we are, like I said earlier, we are doing a lot of modifications and fixing up here right now too. And when we get done with those videos or that video, We'll put a link to it at the end of this one. And as always, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Now I have to go to the parts store and see if the numbnuts got me the right seal for there.